Well, ahoy there, mateys. I'm back. <laughs> so silly. Um, I'm back here. Oh, back here on the coast with some sea otters and a bunch of birds, some seals, and it's just been great. It's been a fantastic morning. Got out really early this morning, and it's been so much fun. I started the day off with some sea otters, and uh, that was a lot of fun. And then I moved off to go find some birds, and uh, honestly, it's been pretty slow today. Uh, I've got a bunch of goals flying around, but other than that, there really hasn't been a ton. Uh, usually I get so spoiled out here where it's it's hard to photograph everything because there's so much, but you know, other than some goals flying around right now, all the other birds have just been sitting and resting, and there's a lot fewer birds than I'm used to, so, uh, um, yeah, I've, I've done what I can with what I have to work with. It's been great though, it's been so much fun. I love getting out here kayaking with these, these beautiful, beautiful animals. Uh, like I mentioned, I started the day off with some sea otters and I did that with my Canon 1DX Mark II. For those of you who have watched some of my uh, videos before, you may recall that I generally shoot still images with my Canon 1DX Mark II and I use my Canon R5 for video. Uh, after those sea otters this morning, I put the 1DX2 away and pulled out the R5 for everything, photo, video, everything. And it's just been great. Uh, you know, I haven't used it a ton in the past for photo, just because I do prefer the 1DX2 over it. But I wanted to give it another shot today, see what I could get just using the R5 for everything and it's been it's been fantastic so uh, today I wanted to review with you guys a couple of the custom settings that I have set up on the R5 that help me transition quickly uh, from photo to video to slow motion video uh, just yeah some of the custom settings uh, custom buttons I have set up to do that um, and just to, to help me be able to run photo, video, uh, just very quickly transitioning from one to another. So uh, that's that's what I'm going to go over today. I'm actually headed back to uh, dry land right now. The wind's picking up a little bit and the water's getting a bit choppy, a lot choppier than I like having all my camera equipment out here over open water. So I'm going to head back and uh, once we're on dry land, we'll 
or review these settings and custom buttons that I've got set up. Found a nice little quiet stretch of coastline here. It's still a little breezy, so if you get any wind noise or background noise, I apologize in advance. Uh, again, I'm just going to be reviewing some of the custom buttons that I've set up on my camera. I'll also review how I quickly transition from shooting photographs to shooting video in its different formats. Uh, the reason I wanted to cover this today is this was actually a request that I had in the comments a little while back. I try to get back to all of those requests, all the feedback, uh, recommendations, questions, all that stuff. Uh, so this is an answer to a request that I had in the comments. And if you ever have anything you would like to see or have me cover on this channel, please just let me know in the comments. Uh, as I review these buttons and things today, please remember this isn't a the best way to set up your camera as a wildlife photographer or anything like that. This is just how I have mine set up. So if you've got your setup differently, and uh, you've got some useful information or tips or anything, let me know in the comments why you have it set up that way and how it helps you as a photographer. Also, I'm just gonna briefly do an uh, overview of these buttons and the setup that I have today. If you have more in-depth questions that you would like me to cover or answer, just let me know down in the comments and I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you. Without further ado though, let's jump right into the camera and I'll go over these buttons. So the first buttons that I wanted to cover are the two buttons that I have dedicated for my back button focus. I've got two buttons set up and the reason I have that set up is each button does something a little bit different. The first back button focus that I have is set up for eye detection. The Canon R5 is amazing when it comes to animal eye detection, specifically birds I've found. So this first button that I have set up when I push that, it'll automatically search for an eye in the frame and focus on that eye and then I can take my picture. The second button that I have set up for back button focus is set up for spot autofocus. And this helps me a lot if that animal eye detection is having a hard time picking out the eye that I want it to, or if I'm shooting landscape or uh, mammals where the animal eye detection has a little bit harder time. Uh, this button helps me so I can just choose what point I want to focus on and then take my picture. So that's the reason I have two buttons dedicated to back button focus. The next custom button that I have set up actually has to do with how I transition from one type of video to another to another. So I'll jump into that button in just a little bit. Uh, before that, just to give you a better explanation of how that button works and whatnot, let's actually jump into the custom menu and some of the custom shooting modes that I have set up. So when I shoot still images, I always shoot on manual. I don't have any custom shooting modes set up for uh, photography portion of things, but I do use all three custom shooting modes when it comes to video. And the way I have this set up is essentially by frame rate. So my first custom shooting mode I've got set up at 30 frames per second. Uh, second custom shooting mode that I have set up, I've got set at 24 frames per second, and the third at 120 frames per second. So now that I've explained how I have these custom shooting modes set up when I shoot video, let me go back to my custom menu and explain how I use that custom shooting mode option. So the reason I have this custom shooting mode option on my menu is because I shoot everything manually. I change all my settings manually. I don't use auto ISO or anything like that, simply because that's how I taught myself. So that's what I'm familiar with and that's what I'm comfortable with. So an example of how I use this custom shooting mode, uh, and this is a button that I use quite regularly, is if I'm out shooting a subject and it's bright, you know, direct sunlight that I've got, I've got my ISO set at 100, the lowest that I can possible, and let's say some clouds roll in front of the sun and all of a sudden it's overcast. I'm updating my ISO and I will then go into this custom shooting mode and I will register those updated settings to that mode that I'm currently shooting in. The reason I do this is if I need to transition to say slow motion from just shooting regular video and then transition back, 
my settings are saved there and I don't have to adjust them all over again. With these custom shooting modes, when you set that shooting mode, uh, anytime you transition out of that mode and then transition back in, the settings will default to however they were when you set that mode. So if you register those new settings on that mode, uh, it'll save those and it allows me to easily transition from one format of video to another without having to readjust those settings every time. Again, this is just how I do things. If there's an easier way that you know of, and I'm sure there is, let me know in the comments. So we've talked about those custom shooting modes that I use when shooting video. Let's talk really quickly how I transition between those modes and how I transition from shooting still photographs to video very quickly. So on the Canon R5, there's that handy mode button up top. You just push that and then it gives you an option. If you push the info button, it'll switch to the next menu over. So it's simple enough to transition from shooting still photographs to shooting video. Once I'm in video, if I need to transition uh, very quickly, rather than pushing that mode button and then selecting the next custom mode that I have set up, I've set another custom button on my camera and anytime I push this button, it switches between my three custom shooting modes of video that I have set up. So this allows me to easily transition with just one push of a button from shooting normal video to slow motion video or vice versa. These custom buttons have helped me a lot when I'm out in the field shooting, so I'm not digging through different menus to register settings on my custom shooting modes if conditions change, or to transition from uh, photo to video, or transition from slow motion to normal video. All those examples I've given, uh, these buttons help me to easily capture the moment that's in front of me. I hope this wasn't too convoluted for you. Again, this is how I do things. I'm sure there's much easier ways of doing things out there. So I would love to hear from you. How do you have your camera set up and why do you set it up that way? If there's something I'm totally missing here on my camera, if there's an easier way of doing things, please let me know in the comments. I would very much appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. I had so much fun out on the water with those sea otters and the various birds that I was able to see. Always so great to get out here with the beautiful wildlife. It was a little bit slower this time around, like I was saying before. In the past, I've just been so spoiled where Honestly, I don't have enough time in the day to photograph all the different species out here, but it was still great this time, and I had some awesome encounters with those sea otters and the different birds. So much fun being out here. I'm so blessed to be able to do this stuff, and I, I hope you've enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions, please just let me know. And if you have any recommendations for future videos as well, just let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for following along. I'm going to get going, see what else I can find to photograph before that sun goes down today. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Oh, can't even get up. <laughs>